Hi, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what is going on for you. Some of you want to confess something, even though they're withdrawn, they're in fantasy land or something. Cloudy judgment, withdrawn fantasy, cloudy judgment. A lot of chemistry, surprised. The divine masculine at a distance wants to return. Stressed out at a breaking point, wants only you. Okay, this person may feel like they've made a lot of mistakes, Sagittarius. So withdrawn, fantasies, bad judgment, a lot of chemistry. So they may have made a bad choice in love with someone they were drawn to. They're at a breaking point. They want to come back to you. So someone's at a breaking point. They want to come back towards you, Sagittarius. Confessing something, unveiling something, coming clean. Someone may need to confess something. That may be the whole point. If someone is withdrawn from you right now, if there's no communication, it may be that they are feeling guilty. It could be something that they need to tell you that they don't want to tell you possibly, but they are like almost ready to. Yeah, the moon. There's something you don't know. Somebody's been hiding something from you. This person may act like they don't care, like they're cocky or something, but that's not what's going on here. Lovers in the hidden position and the four of cups and the outcome. Okay, for some of you, someone needs to confess that, that there was a secret lover or something like that. Uh, page of swords. For somebody, maybe one person, two people out there, this could be someone that you like are friends with that does have some sort of secret crush on you and they don't want to tell you. Maybe someone has drawn, no, has become attracted to you. They are drawn to you. They are now having feelings for you. Could be lust, but so they're having these feelings for you and now they feel, I almost like they feel guilty or embarrassed or something, but like you guys have been friends for a long time. And they feel like they don't want to, they need to pull back. They don't want to tell you. So that's not for all of you. That's not, but that is for someone. Okay, what does this person need to confess? What is this moon energy here? Third party. What is this lover's energy in the hidden position? Ace of Cups. Somebody from the past. Maybe a water sign. Doesn't need to be, but. Okay, what is this page of cups? This person doesn't want to tell you. Because they know that it's going to ruin their chances with you. For some of you, this person has decided they want to be only with you, but they're holding on to the secret. And they know if they tell you this, which they, it feels like they want to tell you, it feels like they feel guilty. They want to tell you before you guys get into anything serious, but they know that this could break the connection before it even begins. What is this Page of Cups energy? Page of Coin. Could be an apology. One more. Could be confession. Yep. I'm telling you, this person needs to tell you something. They need to confess something. They're afraid to. What is the Six of Wands? This could be an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's actually, it's almost like, I almost kind of get like, they, okay, they did something foolish. A lot of times I read the Fool as foolish, stupid things they've done. Not necessarily as a new beginning. Um, what, but uh, they do want a new beginning with you. See, so you're under here. Five of it's like they want you and only you, and they and they that's like you're a dream come true, and they feel like they have this big chance with you, and they're beating other guys or girls, whoever you date out, and like you and them, but they know they have this one thing, and I'm kind of getting maybe if they don't tell you, you're gonna find out anyway. Somebody else may know because some people do hide things well, they can I guess take things you know to their grave and never admit things. This person for some reason feels like they need to tell you, so I'm wondering if other people know about this. Anyways, you're under here. It's like they've won you, sort of in a sense. There's a new beginning. They're excited, but they have to tell you this. This person could have been a player before. Maybe they've settled down, King of Pentacles energy or something like that. But let me do one more for the Knight of Wands. Cherry, they're coming to see you. All right, what is this Three of Cups? Not moving out of something. Not wanting to see. Tired, tired, something. This person could be kind of drained too. And I'm wondering if this person still attached to them though. Wheel two. Devil and the two of cups. Ace of cups, six of cups, two of cups, all in the hidden position. There does feel like there's somebody else attached to the situation. Someone that they either can't get rid of or this could be a Capricorn. What is this four of cups in the outcome? Judgment, Ace of Wands, the Fool, 
one more. Two wands and two swords. Something they don't want to see or something you don't want to see. For some of you, you know about this. Some of you, you know about this and you don't you want to acknowledge it. You don't want to see it or acknowledge it. Or this is them. Um, there's something here. So maybe there's an, there might be an ex they have kids with possibly that's still in the picture or something. Okay, let me see. What is this person going to do? Okay, this person dreams about you. Cupid's arrow coffee cup. So they want to get together and they want to talk. They want to meet and talk. They want to savor the moment. It does say building a friendship. So this could be someone, again, who you've had a lot of history with and there's a lot of feelings here and they want to tell you, but they just don't know how this is going to go over, if this is going to freak you out. Okay, what else is going to happen? we got please listen, connect with me. They're awakening to this connection. They're attracted and they need to talk. They need to talk this out. So let's go to a different deck. What are they going to confess? I don't like that deck. I like a darker deck is why it's just too bright and cheery. What is what is it that they're going to confess? Okay, most of them are facing this way. They lost strength. I saw the strength. I saw the tower. Could be a Leo. I saw the devil. Scorpio. Chariot in reverse. There's something they need to tell you. What is it? What is it that they need to confess? Love. They love you. Victory. You love. Lovers. Two of cups. Wow. Justice. This person really loves you. They are they are in love with you. And what is it that they have to confess? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Cups is in reverse. Everything's... Nine of Coins in reverse. King of Cups. It's like letting something go. Something's not moving forward, putting something down, making a decision, getting over something, getting over the past, releasing something. Some of you, this is a person, like you know who they were with, you know who the other person is. And they're trying to tell you, I've let that person go, I've moved on from them, but you may not believe them. So they've had some sort of epiphany about you, they want to be with you and only you. They're trying to they're trying to tell you, hey, I've let that other person go. They're not in the picture anymore. I'm over them. I've made up my mind. I'm coming towards you. They're gonna bear their hearts. I want to be in a relationship, is what they're saying. Maybe they found out someone else is only motivated by money, they're selfish, something like that. But they're still not telling me. I think they've been with this person or sleeping with this person, or something else has gone on for the way that the cards came up initially, unless you just don't want to give this person another chance. Listen to intuition, three of swords, seven of cups. Some of you, the issue here is that you have worked through the pain or you worked through something and you kind of know now what you feel. Seven of cups in reverse is dumping the cups, knowing what's in them, knowing your feelings for this person, knowing your own feelings. I need to confess this. Okay, what's going to happen? How are you going to feel when they confess? What are you going to feel? This may be a good confession then for some of you. This may not be bad. You're going to look at the past. How are you going to feel when they confess? Ten of Wands, putting a burden down, letting something go, being happy. Well, this may be good. They're telling you, you may like. How do you see this working out? Two of Wands. The Hermit's in reverse. The Swords is in reverse. The World. Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Working together, working things out. Ten of Pentacles. There's a Queen of Pentacles under the deck. There's a Queen of Cups here. I don't know if this person's a player, if they have had a lot of people, because we've got a lot of feminine energy hanging around. Um, this could be a feminine you're dealing with. Hermit in reverse is someone coming out of hiding is how I feel. It could be something coming out in the open also, but Queen of Swords is usually in, in reverse. Someone very anger, angry, bitter, and that could be you. 
this person may have done something where it's like been angry, been holding on to this. Maybe now things are starting to change. This right here is working together, getting along, building and building a um, like a family together or a legacy or something like that, working together. So the confession could be that they want only you, but I mean, there's more to the story. I mean, you can tell there was a lot going on here. So this person has been wanting to talk to you, sit down with you, have this conversation with you. They've been stressing about this. It has been drawn. It says, I want you, and sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. Let me go to this one, too. What is on this person's mind? What is it that they want to confess? What is it they want to say? I get triggered at the thought of you. Walking away from you made me realize how much I love you. I'm sorry for breaking your trust. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Someone else. You're the only one that truly understands me. Oh, I just got something. This one. I love you more than I will ever let on. Some of you caught this person with someone else and they lied about it. They broke your trust, but they also lied about it on top of it. They've never admitted the truth. So you know the truth. You know they're lying, but they won't admit they're lying. They just keep going along like, nah. So, okay, I want to message you, but I'm scared you might reject me, and I know our souls entw are entwined, just fell out, so I'll show you those two. All right, what is Spirit's advice for this connection? Let's go to this book. What is Spirit's advice? Nine of coins. Some of you are just going to stay single. You're going to move on. You may find someone else. You may not even deal with this past person. <clears throat> Three of coins, two of cups, though. Seems to throw a lot of love around the situation. So some of you might, depending on the situation. If it's the friend vibe I picked up for a few of you, someone who may have fallen in love with you, who doesn't really want you to know, I don't know what, what you're going to do with that one. That one might be kind of difficult. That may be where you don't have feelings for this person. You have friend feelings, but you don't have, like, uh, love, you know, you don't have physical feelings for this person. If it's the Queen King of Pentacles, how do you feel about that person? Queen of Wands, Queen of Fortune. You're going to talk to this person, it looks like. It looks like you do want to talk to them. You may or may not. Judgment's in reverse under the deck. You may have a conversation. It looks like you're going to have a conversation. So I get you're going to talk to them, have a conversation, and go from there. You might decide not to reunite. And if it's a King of Cups, because there was a King of Cups as well. Could have been the same person, but we'll pull cards. Manifesting. That person you seem to like, you seem to want to go straight toward that person. You seem like you don't care <laughs> what that person did. You seem to like the water sign, possibly. All right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.